Welcome to a new video on my home automation series and this time I have yet another son of review video and as you can see it's a TX series light switch and you might say like hey dude why are you doing this video you just reviewed another TX series light switch I mean of course this is different because it's white and it only has one gang but that's not entirely true because if I flip it around then well you don't see anything yet because it still appears just like any other TX series wall switch, smart wall switch. But if I bring this a little bit closer and you start paying attention to the connections, you can see that as opposed to the regular, like you would have at least three connections, you would have a live in, a neutral and a live out or L1 out or something like that. You only have two. And that's true because this is a special one, which is called the single live wire switch. So the idea here, and that's basically the big pro of uh, this device, and that's what it really sets apart from any other TX switches, is it doesn't need a neutral wire to operate. So it uses the incoming line in and the outgoing live, which you would normally have in a, in a box where you have a regular old style switch. And it could be just like a simple drop-in replacement for that. It doesn't need a neutral uh, line. How they have done it, I'm not really sure. It's probably something really, you know, clever electronic engineering and probably the mix of uh, black magic. Probably the only giveaway that within the box you are only getting this uh, thing, which they call the anti-flicker device, and that you install in between the two terminals of your load. So, for example, the light within your light socket or in your chandelier you connect the live and the neutral wires with this box and this probably has something to do with you know letting some power through so this unit can operate you know closing the circuit when your light is actually off because as opposed to like a regular light this probably needs just a small amount of electricity to you know to make the chips chip and the circuitry work and that's probably how they do it and of course the thing is that you know if they would be doing some you know clever switching in here then you would see that the your light flickers or yeah, there is a, a faint glow even when it's turned off but um, based on my testing and the different lamps I've used I haven't noticed that so they really managed to f do it in a way that it doesn't really impact you know the regular performance of your light so they don't appear to be working any differently than if you would use a different TX unit which has a neutral wire. Looking at the box, it is the usual TX style of box. Uh, so the, the product arrives in this blue box. There is nothing really in here. There is a couple of screws for mounting. As I said, this box was, uh, this small sort of unit is, was also in the box. And on the top you are getting a leaflet. And as you can see, this is called the T4 EU1C. So T4 as in the T4 line in the TX series and EU because it's an EU version and 1C because it's one gang. I was told that this is um, an experimental product as in they, so far they have done the EU one gang version and based on the market acceptance and how much you know people are interested in there will be some follow-up products in the family so most probably we would see multiple gangs unit and also like us or australian version but so far that's the only one which is available at least that's what i'm aware of this instruction instead of well sometimes i get it in english and german this is chinese and english so i'm just going to flip it around because all the English stuff is here and you can see the basic wiring diagram so again your life goes into the unit to live in and goes out the unit to live out and then you bridge the live and the neutral connection with this flash elimination module on the load side and of course the neutral gets connected to your load so there is no need to get the neutral down down to your smart switch which is I think is going to be a relief for so many of you guys out there who probably own an older style of house where there is only live wires available at your switch and up until now you had no chance of replacing those lights with a son of TX or TU or uh, T1 series switches because they won't operate without the neutral wire but this unit does. The rest of the document is yeah pretty much standard and it doesn't really offer anything else because 
apart from the fact that it doesn't need a neutral line, everything else works exactly the same as the T1 unit. So you use the normal te pairing process. Um, uh, I'm, I'm not even covering in this video because again, it's just the same thing. When I got this unit and I just powered it up, it went automatically to pairing mode so I could see it. The indicator was uh, flash flashing quickly and I've just gone into the app, pl uh, pressed the plus button, did uh, selected quick pairing and I just followed the screen instructions and within a minute this uh, unit was added to my account. And again, as you will see later on, it behaves exactly the same as all the other TX series switches. Before we go into the details, let me show you the, the actual setup. I mean, it's, yeah, I wanted to make it easy so you can look at the wiring, but it became a bit of a mess. So as you can see, it is called one wire because you have one wire coming in from the mains. So this is just a normal mains plug. So you have the live wire, which is the black here. It is coming into the unit and going out to the unit to your load, which is your lamp. And then the neutral wire, as it usually happens in the old houses where you only have two wires in the, in the socket. So the live going in and the live going out. And the neutral goes in a completely separate way from the you know, the source, the switch box or whatever, directly into your load, which is the lamp. And that's how this uh, TX model works exactly. The only addition you see uh, to a typical setup is you have this box here, which they call the anti-flicker unit. But I guess this has something to do with how the power gets transferred to the switch so it can actually operate. Because as I said, there's no batteries, there's nothing inside. So it still works from the mains voltage even though the the lamp is not working so this probably i don't know completes the circuit and it does something black magic in here so yeah it's all black magic but it works i can turn it on and i can turn it off and of course i can do it in the app but i just have to hold this one otherwise everything goes haywire so i can but yeah it works in the app as well so very very simple and i just want to highlight again that this is how your your regular switch box or your light socket looks like. So there are two wires going in and then those are the exact two wires which are going in and of course going out from this uh, special one wire TX light switch. And as you can see in this example, the, the light coming from this LED light bulb is completely even. It's not because of the shutter speed or I've done something in a camera. So even for the naked eye, it looks absolutely normal. So there is no flicker. I can't see anything like that. And if I switch it off, it is actually off. So there is no, you know, faint glow or anything like that. And what IT claims that this unit works with LED bulbs, uh, compact fluorescent bulbs and regular bulbs as well. Funny enough, I don't have any more regular bulbs at home, but I do have a compact fluorescent light. And as you can see, it works just fine. So there's no flicker, there's nothing I can see. And when I turn it off, the unit is completely turned off. There is no glow or shimmer or anything like that. Of course, you have to get this unit connected between the, the two terminals of your load. And when it comes to the EV Link app, this unit appears just like any other TX unit. It is a one gang unit, so you only have one touch face or one button face. And as you can see, it also supports the land mode, which I haven't covered yet, but I want to uh, make a video on that. Once you go into details, again, it behaves uh, exactly the same as any one gang switch. You have the usual um, functions on the button, so like share, schedule, timer and loop timer. I really don't want to cover it because I have told this on every other video already. And once you go into the settings, then again, you see the same functions. As you can see, the firmware is 3.3.0, so it works on the latest firmware, uh, what um, is available for all the other units. And it also supports the inching mode. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But that's what you usually get with a one, one gang switch. And again, on the software side, it behaves exactly like a one gang TX or a T1 series uh, smart switch. That was my review video of the Sonoff T4 one wire smart switch. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.